everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to make these delicious pumpkin spice hot chocolate bombs. These came out great and they look amazing. I can't wait to show you guys how to make them, so let's get started with the video. Begin by melting your chocolate. Melt your chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it is completely melted. For my hot chocolate bombs, I'll be using orange candy melts. But if you'd like, you can use milk chocolate, white chocolate, or white chocolate with food coloring. Here's a tip, if you want to make black chocolate, then all you have to do is mix dark or milk chocolate with royal blue candy melts. Add more candy melts or chocolate to get your desired color. Once you finish melting all of your chocolate, take out your mold. I got this really cute pumpkin mold from Target, so I'll be using this for my hot chocolate bombs. This step is optional and only if you have a pumpkin mold. Add a thick layer of milk chocolate to the stem. After adding a thick layer of milk chocolate to the stem of your mold, place it in the fridge to chill. Let your chocolate sit in the fridge for about 3 minutes and then take it out and add a second layer. When you're finished, place it back into the fridge to chill. After chilling your chocolate in the fridge for another 3 minutes, take it out. The next step you can follow with any type of mold that you have. Add about 1-2 to two tablespoons of your melted chocolate into your mold. Then, using either a spoon or a silicone brush, coat your mold in an even layer of chocolate. Make sure your mold is completely coated in chocolate. When you're finished with your first layer of chocolate, place it in the fridge to chill for about 3 minutes and then take it out and add a second layer. Then place it back into the fridge to chill. Once your chocolate has set, carefully take it out of the mold. Separate the sides of your mold from your chocolate and then carefully push it out of the mold while pulling it out. Make sure to push the chocolate out from the bottom of your mold. If your chocolate is rough around the edges, then you can place it on a hot pan long enough to melt the edges. This will make them smooth and even. If the edges are smooth on both sides of your hot chocolate bomb, then it'll be easier to stick them together. Now get your pumpkin spice hot chocolate, I got this off of Amazon, and some pumpkin spice marshmallows, I got those from Target. Oh, and regular marshmallows. Next, take half of your hot chocolate bomb and fill it with 2 tablespoons of pumpkin spice hot chocolate mix. Then add your marshmallows. Place the other half of your hot chocolate bomb onto a hot pan just long enough to melt the edges. Then place both sides of your hot chocolate bomb together.
The melted chocolate from one side will glue both sides together. If there are gaps in your hot chocolate bomb, then you can take some leftover melted chocolate in a brush and cover the gaps. Or you can use a piping bag full of melted chocolate. Repeat this process with the rest of your hot chocolate bombs and when you finish you can begin decorating them. Alright, to decorate the pumpkin hot chocolate bomb, I'm going to brush on some edible adhesive onto the eyes and the mouth. Then I sprinkled some gold sanding sugar on top. Then using another brush, I brushed off any excess sprinkles. Once you finish decorating all of your hot chocolate bombs, you are all done. I had some leftover chocolate, so I decided to make some chocolate covered strawberries and a smashable heart to go with my hot chocolate bombs. First, clean your strawberries. I usually clean my strawberries with warm water and baking soda, and then I let it sit for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I rinsed off my strawberries. Once you have cleaned your strawberries, dry them off. When you're finished, set the strawberries you want to use for your chocolate covered strawberries to the side. Next, melt the chocolate that you want to use for your chocolate covered strawberries. The color scheme I want for my chocolate strawberries in Smashable Heart are orange, white, and black. Next, place a baking sheet in the freezer until it's really cold. After you've dipped your strawberries in the chocolate and placed it on the baking sheet, the cold baking sheet will help the chocolate harden faster. Now we can begin making our chocolate covered strawberries. Stick a toothpick into your strawberry. Then gather and hold the leaves on your strawberry and hold the leaves and the toothpick together. This way, it'll be easier to hold the strawberry and the leaves won't get chocolate on them. Next, dip your strawberry in the chocolate, coating it all the way to the stem. Shake off the excess chocolate and then place it on your cold baking sheet. Repeat this process with the rest of your strawberries. Once you finish coating your strawberries, you can begin decorating them. I decorated the white chocolate covered strawberries by coating them in a thin layer of edible adhesive. Then I sprinkled white sanding sugar all over my chocolate covered strawberry until it was completely coated. I decorated the rest of my chocolate covered strawberries by drizzling some chocolate on top with a piping bag. Next, we're going to make our smashable heart. Add the melted chocolate of your choice into your heart mold. Then swirl the chocolate around in the mold until it is completely covered.
Once you've finished the first layer, place it inside the fridge to chill for 3 minutes. If you added too much chocolate, then remove any extra excess chocolate before putting it in the fridge. You don't want your layer to be too thick. After you take your mold out of the fridge, add a second layer of chocolate. Usually I'll focus more on the sides during the second layer, but I'll still add chocolate in the middle as well. When you finish adding your second layer, place it back into the fridge. Once your chocolate has set, carefully take your chocolate heart out of the mold. Start by removing your heart from the sides of the mold and then take it out completely. Once you have finished making your breakable heart, set it to the side. Next, pipe chocolate into a letter mold using a piping bag or a Ziploc bag. Fill the letters you want to use with chocolate. I filled the letters that I need to use with the black chocolate I made. We're going to add these letters to our chocolate heart. The chocolate letters that I'm using will spell out trick or treat. Scrape any excess chocolate from your letters with a knife. This will make the back of your letters flat. When you're finished, place your letters in the fridge to chill. Once the chocolate has hardened, take it out of the fridge and then take your letters out of the mold. Next, arrange your letters onto the chocolate heart, and then using either chocolate or edible adhesive, stick the letters onto the heart. Once you've added your letters, go ahead and decorate your heart. I just drizzled on some <clears throat> I just drizzled some chocolate onto the side of my heart and added some sprinkles. Once you've finished decorating your smashable heart, you can set everything up. You can add whatever you want in your Smashable Heart, I'm going to add some Halloween candy. After preparing my Smashable Heart, I added the hot chocolate bombs and my chocolate covered strawberries. And this is the finished result! Everything came out looking amazing! Especially the hot chocolate bombs, they look so cool! The strawberries and the Smashable Heart look beautiful. I love making chocolate treats like this. By the way, pumpkin spice hot chocolate actually tastes way better than I thought it would. I totally recommend giving it a try. This was really really fun to make, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I end the video, let me show you how the pumpkin spice hot chocolate bombs came out.
Like I said before, these were actually really good, so I recommend giving pumpkin spice hot chocolate a try. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!